La investigación, la Secretaría de Seguridad Pública del Estado. A bombshell in Mexico Tuesday night. The killing and burning of 19 people, among them Guatemalan migrants, was perpetrated by police, said authorities in Tamaulipas state. At least 12 members of the state police took part in the events of the 22nd of January. This theory gained traction because the crime scene was altered. There's an absence of shells and bullets. The police also contradicted themselves in their report of the crime and in interviews with officers. The suspects are now under arrest. That won't be much of a consolation to Reina Perez, back in Guatemala, who suspected her brother was among the victims even before the news of the alleged police involvement broke. The truth is that everyone was there from our community. They all went on that trip, so the relatives have told us that they died, and that's how we knew that he was one of them. This keeps happening. Not just the kidnapping, killing, an extortion of Central American migrants heading through Mexico, most notoriously when 72 were massacred in 2010, again in Tamaulipas, but also the involvement of Mexican police in atrocities. In 2014, in Guerrero, they helped a gang disappear 43 students. Experts say it's due to a lack of transparency and basic working conditions for local police forces. First of all, the pay is terrible. In many cases, in most cases, really, there's no social security. They get poor health care, which is even graver in the current situation, of course. And the other thing is that many times um, the basic human rights of police officers are not being respected. So the first abusers um, in this whole chain of uh, human rights abuses are the commanders that prey on their own elements in order to do their biddings, in order to carry out violent acts for them, criminal acts for them. What you need first is to create transparency in those institutions, hold commanders accountable. But this administration hasn't focused on police reform. Instead, they've created a super security force called the National Guard, rather than concentrating on the existing problems in the country's many police forces. Critics say that's like putting a Band-Aid on a knife wound. <laughs> Meanwhile, not just Mexicans, but those traveling through the country have been reminded once again that they can't fully trust those who should be protecting them. John Holman, Al Jazeera. Mexico City.